Hi there. In this video, we're going to be doing a review of how to create a detailed estimate and turn that into a job. We'll start by hovering our cursor over the Estimates module. Notice that the Find, View, and Add options are presented. Hovering our cursor over Add Estimate will show us a list of clients that we've been looking at recently. If we see the client we want to create an estimate for, we'll select them. If we don't, we'll simply click on Add Estimate. That brings us to our Estimate Add page. Now any information that you enter here will be carried into the job. We'll give it a name, select a type, keep in mind that this drop down may differ from what you see depending on the terminology that your company uses. We'll select our client, notice the magnifying glass, it lets us know that this is an intelligent field. Clicking on the magnifying glass will show us a list of all the clients in our system. But that list might be quite long, so you can always type in a short form to narrow down the search for the client that you're looking for. We can select our contact beneath our client, select our due date, enter our description, and at this point we'll be selecting the phases and services that we're going to be working on. Every estimate and function point is built on the phase and service structure. This allows you to select the appropriate items that you need to accomplish in order to complete the job. I'll select some services that I want to use, perhaps including an expense, and I'll click Submit. That brings us to our Estimate Details page. Notice that we have our Phases and Services in the bottom section and our Relating tabbed Inserts. This presents the phase and service structure that you selected on the previous page. Now you can rename these items if you wish to do so. Description space is also unlimited. If you're using a modern browser, you can expand these description spaces to be as large as you wish. We can then enter our values. Let's say we're going to put in five hours against previous job research. Notice it calculates by the rate and gives us our total. Let's say we're going to work on documentation for five hours, but we're going to charge our client $1,000. Notice we can use the override field to override the value. Let's say for sketches or roughs, we're going to work on this for 15 hours, but we're going to charge our client $125 an hour. The rates will fill in automatically based on the rate category that is default for the client you selected. However, you can make adjustments on the fly if you wish to do so. We then have an example of an internal expense. Internal expenses are items tracked at a number of units as opposed to a number of hours. And we can say that we're going to be providing our client with maybe five color proofs at $25 a piece. Scrolling down, let's say that for design, we know which staff we want to be doing this work. And those staff people have different billing rates. We want to use their rates to create our estimate. This is optional. But what we can do is select the plus icon at the service level. That creates a subunit, and we can then choose to select a staff or a role. We'll say perhaps I'm going to work on this, and we're also going to have, let's say, Dennis work on this as well. We'll put in 10 hours for each of us, and notice that the billing rates can differ based on the individual. We can also enter some date information. Again, this is very optional. A lot of our clients would assign staff later on, perhaps at the time of creating a timeline or schedule. But if you choose to do so, you can enter dates and this information will flow into your schedule automatically. You will not need to re-enter the date information. I'll put in a few more values. We'll say maybe 20 hours for production, maybe another 15 for copywriting, and maybe another 5 for client management. I then have an example of an external expense. Keep in mind again that you can rename some of these items. My external expense, in this case printing, is an example of an item that is tracked at a cost and a percentage markup as opposed to a number of units or a number of hours. We could say that we're going to be purchasing let's say two thousand dollars worth of printing and we're going to be marking that up to our client in this case by 25 percent. Notice it calculates the markup and gives us our total we now have a total for our estimate. Click Save, and that is our estimate created. Now from here, you could do a couple different things, such as tracking an approval process, 
notifying your client of the fact that an estimate is available for them to view, or print off a client-facing version. Anytime that you may wish to do so, we can turn this item into a job. Selecting Add Job in the Action buttons located at the top right-hand corner will turn this estimate into an active job in Function Point. That is the process for creating a detailed estimate and turning it into a job. That concludes this video. Thank you again for your time and please continue checking out more of our videos for more helpful information on using Function Point.